everyone. It's Tracy. I am back. I haven't been here in many, 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 many months, and I'm glad to be back. Um, I have been busy with school. I know that I've mentioned that that may have taken me away, and it certainly did, but things are looking better. My schedule has opened up a little bit, so I decided to go ahead and play for the Mini Kit Monday, April 2021. So I'm looking at this beautiful inspiration from Kathy Feigl, and it has all these beautiful flowers on it. And I apologize for the glare. Um, I'm the um, the light on my camera is what's giving it, and I don't have my lighting up like I did before, and I don't think I'm going to get it up either. So we'll just have to work around it. Just using the overhead and using the the window light which is very cloudy today which I think is good for this type of thing anyway so look at all the beautiful colors and I um, that was part of the inspiration so for mini kit Monday we give you uh, something to uh, inspire you to make your kit and then she also said for us to create a kit um, including the colors and um, um, Mimicking, um, what is the word she used? Where you are inspired by us, the team members, which would be me and Becky, Kathy, Shannon, and Dolly. So if you'll, um, you can go back and look on the website. You can actually, um, on the Facebook, on this I'm talking about the website, on the Facebook, if you if you look for search and you search for each one of our names, it'll show our postings on it. And I try to post photos of my kit. I'm not the best. I'm going to try to be a little bit better this year. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> anyway, so here's the colors. And when I looked at the colors and I thought, oh, you know what I think of? I think of uh, Pink Paisley. And I know that there's one, about 25 sheet, one of those pads, uh, paper pads from Tuesday morning and it has all the colors almost all the colors it has more than those colors it's this one it is a turn the page number 22 and it has a lot of colors a lot a lot of colors and so I really loved this palette even though it doesn't have this blue Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I may have to sneeze again here in a minute. It is springtime, obviously. It, I have allergies, like most of you, I am sure. Uh, anyway, so here is my inspiration page. And I, I'm a little embarrassed because as, as I look at my kit that I had created, I sure did pull out a lot of like background papers. So this is one that I pulled and it came from a paper pad. Pretty sure it was from crepe paper. It's kind of a cream base, but I'm okay combining white and cream base. That doesn't bother me. This one is also from a paper pad. I think this is from Park Lane, the one from Joann's. It's a pink on pink. It's a stripe just like that one, of course. I have lots of stripes in here. Here is a wood grain. Uh, this one is from Summer Dreams from Echo Park. And then there is this grid. It I love it, the blue, because it matches this blue here pretty well. It coordinates well with it. So that's why I got that one. And then this one I've had for a long time. And I'm not sure where I got it, to be honest with you. And let's see, let me just move this over. And then we have, let me see, there is this yellow stripe. I got this from Joann's, it's from Jerice. So yeah, it's, I like it. It has texture on it. Here's another yellow one. And it is, um, I'm not sure. I, I think I got this from, oh, it's a paper pad. I don't know. You know, you get so many. You think you're going to remember where you got it? No. All right. So this one is from Fancy Pants, and it is from Family & Co. Where the heart is. It's about home. So I, I got this because I'm going to be doing some flowers on 
uh, in my flower bed that have already, they're already dying actually, they're tulips. So, okay, this is from Pink Paisley. And I, um, I just wanted another grid. I don't like that, it's too busy for me. And then I have this one. So you see how bland these are? And then there's this one. Well, I needed something with some more color. So I chose this one, which is also from Pink Paisley because I went through my Pink Paisley box and I tried to pull as much from that. I didn't have very much, which I'm quite proud of myself um, that I've been using it up. So go me. Uh, of course, you know, the more I use, the more room I have for other things. So anyway, this is a uh, turn the page number 24. And on the back side is this this color matches that. I didn't even notice that. How about that? I didn't get it for that. I got it for this. Because <laughs> I need a little bit of color other than that. And then I wanted a specialty paper. And I normally don't go out of my way for this. But I do have, I'm getting quite a collection. I need to kind of use them up. And I know it has a glare. But it's gold foil. And it has yellow flowers on it. So I'm going to slip this in here next to the yellow. And I also pulled this in. This is from our house from Cartabella. I got this because it has large flowers on it. I don't have anything that is big other than this hello, but it doesn't add any color. So I wanted to add that. I also have a, a like a one inch strip. I also have like some, um, some more stripes that I pulled in from the, um, from, you know, that Paige Evans um, box that I have. So there's like a one and a half inch, one and a quarter inch strip. There is this one. Still a small element. He's from the Pick Me Up. And I don't like that. So we'll see if I can get this used up. Something with a little pop of color. I have some random things on my desk. I'm, just, I'm not going to show you. If I use it, I use it. If I don't, I don't. Um, I Okay, so I wanted to show you all the big things that I got along with it. This is fairly new. Uh, this is the only new thing that I'm using. Can you see it? No. Okay, so it's from uh, Simple Stories I Am Collection, and I got it at Tuesday morning uh, within the month. And I haven't even used it. So I've got that. And then um, I pulled this alpha out. Let your heart decide. I thought the colors went well together. This I've had for a long time. It's from Fancy Pants. Um, I've used a lot of it. But there's still a lot to use. So I'm going to see if I can use some of that. Um, some of the bigger items as well is I got this from... This is from Dollar Tree, actually. They're little blue jewels, and they're very dimensional. I don't know if you can see how dimensional they are. They have a nice little sheen to them. And then I have these decorative brads from the I Am Collection. Still in the packaging, very glary still. They have two Bella Boulevards. I've had these since 2018. Yeah, I've had them. This one I probably got somewhere else. I didn't get that at Tuesday morning. The sticker would still be on it. Anyway, got blue hearts, pink stars. You can see. Uh, I wanted to show you. I did pull in some frames. I'm very out of practice in doing this. So bear with me as I try to get back into it. I mean, my lighting's off. I'm off. <laughs> you know, I'm just so out of practice. So I had these frames that were on my desk. Oh, there it goes. Gold foil, kind of shiny. Lots of shadows. Shadows not included. All right. Then I did get some flare. I, in fact, I got four. I pulled four. I like flare. So... This one says life is beautiful and that one says cherish. But that has flowers and it has a leaf. 
And then I did have some washi tape because with all that color, you need some, some black in there. So I pulled it in for the washi tape. I probably will pull some black solid as well. So you can see the stripe, um, wonky dot, XOXO. This is flowers. It's from Simple Stories. And it is so pretty. And I do have, I think I have the embellishment uh, package with this, but I'm not using it for this because I'll show you in a minute. Here's a pink stripe and then another black. This is pretty old school. I don't have a lot left in comparison to what I did have. So looking good so far. This is a big kit. I've got 12 sheets, which I normally never do that. I usually do about five or six, but they're mostly solids, you know, they're backgrounds. And I don't know what I was thinking about that. That's for sure. All right. Now let me show you. I'm sorry. So I had a little mishap. I had recorded this and then I lost the footage. I don't know. It just kind of disappeared. They changed the program I'm using too with uh, with doing this video. So I'm trying to get used to that. It's amazing what five or six months how things change. I'm like, oh, okay, great. All right. So like I told you, I was going through my pink paisley box, and these are some of the embellishments that I had. They were just kind of random. So I when I pulled the ones I thought that the colors would coordinate with the most. I have some chipboard. I just peeled off the sticky, the sticky part. And um, there is some of these were already cut. Uh, that I have lots of sheets of the star paper. Oh, I love that paper, but I didn't, as you can tell, I didn't bring that out. There's all of this, some stickers, and then these are vellum pieces. You see that this was a 12 by 12 sheet. It was a specialty sheet that came with one of her collections that I got from somewhere. And um, I just pulled them all because I don't know, it's better to keep them together. The vellum, they get lost, especially these little bitty ones or one by one. So anyway, so there is that I'm still not done. I have one more thing I want to show you because I didn't want to go through all of my embellishments. I have a lot. I'm sure you guys do too. And I didn't know what color to go. I, you know, I just went to, with the Paige Evans. I thought, well, what I can't find there, I will supplement with something else. And this is what my something else is what I decided to do. I decided to take a little scraps of paper that I have from Paige Evans and some coordinating papers and just do punches. So some of these are punches, some of these are dies. And I just did the different shapes. Um, I will probably just uh, separate them by color. To be honest with you, um, my brain thinks like that, separating by color. And that way I can uh, pull, uh, you know, em um, embellishment clusters together and make sure that they all have the same color, cord you know, co color balance. And instead of having to like dig through this constantly. So I will, this is what, so I have, um, I have leaves, I have different shaped flowers, um, different shaped leaves. I have circles. I have hearts. Um, I didn't do any butterflies, but I could probably do that too. Anyway, this is green, but I'm going to put it here with the green and then I don't know what multicolor. <laughs> anyway, I just, so I just punch, punch, punch. Some of them are really tiny. Look at I can't believe that leaf was stuck in my hand. I don't know how long it's been there. I feel like a like an infant that's got food in their hand, you know, just gets stuck there. Anyway, so that's a little leaf that I had used a uh, die cut, my, you know, my um, big shot and all the dies. So and I just 
one evening I just went through and I took all the scraps that I had and just, you know, just punch, punched or cut or die cut or whatever you want to call it, all of these. And it didn't really take long, you know, and I'm watching a movie and, and, and it went by really fast. And then, and the end result is all these beautiful flowers that now I can play with. Yep. So anyway, this is, um, it's a lot and I know I won't use them all and that's okay because I'll just bag them up. This is what I like to do is, it's, it's a, like a secret of mine is when I'm tired of looking all this, I just kind of put it in a baggie or some sort of something and I put it in my embellishment. I have a drawer that I keep stuff like that in and I put it at the back because I'm tired of looking at it. It's okay. I won't miss it. And then I'm, you know, months later, I'm looking for stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at all these beautiful flowers. It's like new again. It's like Christmas. So that's what I'll do. I already know. And I could just put this back into the Paige Evans, you know, box, which is slowly decreasing in size. I haven't bought any new Paige Evans pink paisley items in a very long time. It's not that I don't love it because I do. It's just that I'm trying to use up what I have. I have a lot. I have a lot. And that's kind of what this whole uh, group is about is to use your stash. So, but you know, if you want to use new stuff too, that is okay. And sometimes you can't, okay, you can make this commitment. Okay, I'm not going to buy anything new until I use up, and some people give a percentage, some people give number of uh, card stocks or pieces of paper. Pieces of paper is probably a more realistic in my opinion, but like a percentage, like how, how, do you, how do you really know how much you have? But if you say, I'm not buying anything new until I have used up, 50 pieces of paper and or a hundred sheets of paper, which is nothing, right? Because this is 12 right here. And we all know we have way more than this. I mean, this is what comes in a collection kit, right? Comes 12 sheets. Yeah. We've got dozens of those. Some people have, you know, more than that. So it, no judgment, no judgment. It's just a lot. So the idea was we bought it because we liked it. Now we need to use it. Don't want to turn into hoarder too much. We already kind of do. So anyway, once again, no judgment. So I am going to take a picture of all this. I'm going to post it on the Facebook group. Um, I do have some ideas for some pages that I'm going to uh, base my pages uh, it's my inspiration from another mini kit Monday girl. Um, you know, you can, you can, you can not even do that. You can do your own thing. It doesn't matter. Just post your, your kit that you're going to use and then post your pages as you get them done. They don't have to be posted on a Monday. They just need to be posted by the end of the month. So, uh, so what's today, April the 5th. So the 5th is, um, and then you have it until April the 30th. And then on the end of the month or early May, uh, Kathy, who is the hostess this month, she will select who the winner is of a prize. And then I am the hostess for the month of May. So I, um, and mine's way different, way different. And we've never done anything like what I'm going to be doing. And I can't say it was my idea, but thank you, Miss Dolly. She is, she is brilliant. She is so smart. In fact, all the ladies are, they're so talented. I'm so glad to be a part of this group. And I'm so glad that you're a part of this group too. All right, guys. Um, I will see you next time. I will have videos up for the next few Mondays and I will see you next time. Alrighty. Bye-bye.